Yeah, I ain't really taking no less. Now they tryna send me that text. I ain't hit them back, they stress. I'm needing hundreds of hundreds, cause that's what I'm worth. Show me the finish, I'm getting it first. Show me the best, and it's me and my worst. I need that money, I'm getting it now. I'm at the top, but I started way down. I told them hundreds of times that I'm really done waiting. I swear that I came for the crown. It looked good from my hands, so tell me about how it felt down there. It was just wide open fast, a lot of fun, and just trying to find new lines and figure out the track and just try to get as much traction as I can in different spots. They got lap times over there. Well, I got my own lap time, and I don't know about them. My mine's, we're going to pick that up. Well, what do you think I should be getting? Well, last time I raced here, you can go live, last time I was here, I was like, one, 101 or something. You know how I like them ones in my number, so I always like to be the fastest. But let's get this belt changed. Bring your britches over here. Dude, oh. Dude. Oh, my. <laughs> A number of things that you have to consider there is your picket appropriate. Hey! I'm not coming over. I'm not here, huh? Okay, guys, let's go. Win the It's the Pro Turbo category, and I promise you, you'd be hard pressed to find a side by side class anywhere at any time that's any more stacked than this one right here. Kyle Cheney inside of this one, Hunter Miller, Cody Miller, Corey Willis, Kanan Baker, Cody Martin, Tim Farr. I mean, the, the list just keeps going on and on. We talked about Tyler Remerreed being second of the pro in A points. He's inside of this category. Robert Van Beekham, again, inside of this category. We don't want to forget Scott Champion, the oh, reigning champion of this category, right? Former Supercross racer. Yeah, absolutely. Very talented. And then we don't want to leave out the 14-year-old Cash LaCroix okay, yeah. is also in here with the big dog. Got it. These are fast vehicles. These are the pro class. I'm expecting to see probably sub-120s now. Right off the bat, 120.5. We're going into the teams here. I no question it. about that as we follow <laughs> the number 90 around. Now Cash LaCroix, the 14-year-old, goes to the top of the class, 120.066, ahead of Hunter Miller. Now here's Cash LaCroix that we're watching, that young man that's sitting on top of P1 with that 120. Can he better at this next time by? It's going to be the question. Yeah, as we talked about, so young. Finished up 12th and 16th. He did qualify inside of the mid-pack there, we should say, in round number one. So the young gun out there playing with some of these big dogs, certainly the future of the class. Also moving out to P2, Cash LaCroix gets knocked down. Now I talked about sub-120s in the 119.4 right now. 
for Cash. As I say this, Cash LaCroix takes it right back, a 119.2. How about, yeah, nearly in the 18th, right? I mean, yes. we're getting down there. They are getting after it here. As again, we keep an eye on the number 27. That is Cash LaCroix out of Gunnersville, Alabama. Behind the wheel of that Polaris. Absolutely getting around here better than anybody. So we're out here at uh, Wheeler, Missouri. Cash just got back. Everybody's kind of pumped up inside it. So they had two groups. They had a lot. They got a lot of fast guys here this weekend, and he was uh, he was able to go out, man, and lay down some fast times. We were kind of skeptical with him going in the first first group just because the uh, track conditions were a little bit down. Uh, the man he did his homework, went out there and studied. We got the car set up right. Um, he went out there and laid down the fastest time in the in the first heat. So. Right now, the second heat's going the way they're going to line up. So Cash qualified first in the first heat, so he'll line up with a guy that qualifies first in the second heat. And so those two will start off in a row and start tomorrow. And I mean, I can't tell you how excited he is. And I'm excited for him. We're having a little belt issue, and the car, the car is right. And I feel like Cash is going to have to learn to uh, to watch his belt temperatures and stuff. We had a faulty belt temperature gauge on this run here, and uh, we're going to fix that fix that tonight getting ready for tomorrow and then hopefully he can you know watch his belt temperatures but y'all stay tuned thank y'all for following along we look forward to seeing what this little dude can, can come up with thanks guys